Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving into a fascinating and somewhat concerning topic in the world of crypto scams, the self-destruct function. You might have heard about it, you may even see it on contract scanners, but do you really know what it is and how scammers can take advantage of it? Stick around as we unravel the mysteries behind this function and learn how to protect yourself from this type of crypto scam. If self-destruct ever comes up in your contract scans, beware. This function actually transfers all ether from the contract to a specified wallet and then burns the contract. This means that the contract becomes void and no longer executes anything. If you're holding these tokens, they will become worthless. If you send any ether or other coins to it, they will be lost forever. An important thing to remember about self-destruct is that this function completes two key actions. Number one, it transfers all the Ether balance from the token contract to a specified wallet, which is most likely a scammer's wallet. Number two, it burns the contract. That is, it makes the contract void so the contract no longer executes. Now here's where it gets tricky. Self-destruct was created to enable developers to clean up the blockchain of useless or testing contracts. However, this feature can be misused by scammers to force a contract to become void and transfer funds to themselves. How do they do that? Well, scammers create contracts that seem legitimate at first. They attract investors, gather funds, and then they trigger the self-destruct function. But instead of returning the funds to investors or progressing their promised projects, they divert these funds to their own wallets, leaving investors empty-handed. Think of it like a digital heist right before our eyes. You shouldn't come across self-destruct too often as it is not part of the default ERC20 token set of functions, but rather has to be deliberately coded in. In other words, your average scam contract will probably not have this as this requires writing code. However, when coded in, Scammers can trigger this function once the token contract has built up enough value for them to realize a big profit. Then, they trigger this function, collect all the funds, and disappear leaving the contract void. Once the contract is void, your tokens will become worthless as you will no longer be able to trade them. What if the token you're thinking of buying has nothing to do with Ether? For example, BP20 token smart contracts tend to accumulate BNB coins. What happens then? Well, the scammers call the transfer function to transfer all the BNB to their wallets first, then they trigger the self-destruct function. So no Ether gets transferred, but the second action which burns the contract still executes and renders your tokens worthless. To round things up, unless you're a developer, self-destruct is a bad thing for you, especially if the token you're thinking of buying is a rather obscure, new, or flashy token. As of now, I don't have an example to show you, so this is how rare they can be. I also don't want to share the code here as I don't want to show scammers how to do things they probably don't know yet. However, I can show you where you can find self-destruct warnings if you're researching any particular token. If you are researching any particular token, then please feel free to drop us a comment below on the token you're researching and why it has piqued your interest. Who knows, you might find others who are also researching the same token. Let's go to Dex tools for this. 
If you have been watching my previous video, you will know how useful Dex tools can really be. I find them really easy to use, so we are going with this tool today. Once we are in Dex tools, let's pick any token and check for warnings on self-destruct. If you have the contract address of the token you are researching, then just paste that here. If you don't have the token contract address, then I urge you to check my third video to learn why you really need this. Once you paste the contract address, go to the DEX score section. Then click on the check audit scan results. Now, Keep scrolling until you find the self-destruct function. There it is. You should see a green tick against this. This tells you that the contract has no self-destruct functionality. Another way of detecting self-destruct is through token sniffer. The steps are the same as those we followed in token sniffer while we were looking for honeypots. Just go to the token contract, hit Ctrl plus F, then type self-destruct. As I have said, you will very rarely come across this. This token contract, as you can see, does not contain a self-destruct function. Hey guys, if you're still enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up. As a beginner channel, it really helps me out. Thanks guys. There are other ways you can use to spot the self-destruct function without relying on contract scanners. However, as beginners, it is best to stick to contract scanners as they are very easy to use and provide quite comprehensive results. So I strongly urge you to use this all the time to screen through any tokens you're researching. If you do get a warning from any of the token contract scanners about self-destruct, now you know what it means and why you should stay away from them. Due to the high risk associated with self-destruct, Ethereum developers are working towards deprecating the function altogether, which will make it more difficult for developers to embed self-destruct in their contracts. This means that fortunately, self-destruct will be slowly disappearing from new contracts. Developers who use older versions of Solidity, however, will still be able to use them. This is why you should be vigilant. As I mentioned in my previous video, the majority of scam contracts are similar copies of existing smart contracts. So unfortunately, you may still come across self-destruct. To sum it up, the self-destruct function in smart contracts can be a double-edged sword, a powerful tool in the right hands, but a weapon in the wrong ones. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with fellow crypto enthusiasts. In our next video, we are going to explore another red flag from our contract scanners. If you would like to know when we release our next video, then please hit the subscribe and bell button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Those were our token bites for today, guys. Take care. See you next time.